guys want to know what's in there? We're going to take a look right now. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. My name is Mike and today is another exciting day. Without giving away the secret, I knew something was going to happen either tomorrow or Friday where I was gonna be making a video about it for you guys. That all changed early this morning when I got a call and was told that the surprise was 40 minutes away. Uh, and so, <laughs> I'm on my way there now to meet up with the surprise. You guys want to know what's in there? We're going to take a look right now. Oh my gosh, that was perfect timing. I got here right as they were starting. That thing sounds awesome. So while they're getting that undone, let me just tell you guys what you're looking at. That is a 1967 convertible Corvette with the 327 in it, 350 horsepower, it is a body off restoration that was restored in 2017. It's won every single award you can win. Uh, the Triple Crown Excellence Award, the uh, Bloomington Gold, and the NCRS. So it is a top flight 1967 Corvette. And uh, just so you know, this is not my car. It is. Uh, a client of ours that we bought it for but I'm gonna get to do a little bit of driving in it we're actually gonna have some stuff done to it so I'll take you guys along the way with me as we have uh, certain things done and then uh, when it's ready to be delivered to the client I'm not going to show the delivery but I will show uh, its final phase and what it looks like when we deliver it to the client which will be in a few weeks and Peter Carey this one's for you, buddy. Look at this thing, guys. It is so gorgeous. Sorry, the lighting was bad. I mean, this car is absolutely ridiculous. All right, guys, so checking back in with you on this 1967 Corvette. I am actually on my way to my cousin's house to go and take a drive in it. And uh, the reason why I'm just now doing it is because we had some stuff that we needed to get done on it. And on Friday, I actually got uh, brand new tires put on it. It had the 1967 red ply tires on it, which 
uh, for anybody that doesn't understand that, they're a non-radial tire and it pretty much makes the car go all over the road. Uh, and so, very old technology. So I had some uh, brand new radial tires installed and uh, there was a problem with the brakes. That got fixed. It was actually something very simple, a $3 part. And, uh, and then uh, there was a carburetor issue. Uh, it was also a simple fix. So everything should be uh, good to go. So I'm gonna take a, a drive in it and give you guys my feedback on uh, what I think about this 67 uh, convertible Corvette and then let you guys in on what's gonna happen next to it. So stay tuned. So these are the tires over here that were on the car. And as you can see, they're the old Goodyear and they did not handle the road well at all. Bye, Birkin. Want to say hello to the camera? Bye. <laughs> There's the new tires. Much better. So I'm going to get in here and take this thing for a spin. Look at that nonsense. Lap seat belts only. <laughs> All right. So let's get her started up. First impression is this is a 1967 and I was born in 1980 and have never driven anything quite like this. It is, I mean, totally different than anything I've ever driven. The steering is not power. The gear shifter is very long. Uh, the, the steering just feels very, very different. Uh, the power is definitely there. Uh, it's only a four speed. It's got quite a bit of torque. So uh, I enjoy that. That is, uh, that is definitely a good quality. This car is handling the uh, corners pretty decent. And man, these brakes are, they're actually really good. So it definitely gives you a spirited drive. Uh, it's, a, it's actually not very bumpy. Uh, these new tires obviously help out a lot in that area. The older tires were definitely a lot more bumpy. They just didn't have the comfortable ride that these new ones have. And uh, that also gives me a lot more grip than uh, the older tires had on them too. And the car's not being jerked all over the road like it was last time that I drove it. It was quite an interesting experience. So basically what we're going to be doing to this car is we're going to be putting an AC unit into the car 
uh, so that the person that bought this will have AC in the summer. It is hot here in Texas. And then after that, we're gonna do a clear bra on the front because of the fact that uh, there's a lot of rocks in Texas on the roads and we want to make sure that we protect this, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollar paint job that's on this car. And so, those are the last two things we're going to do. But first, we're going to have the client come and drive the car and make sure that they are a hundred percent good with everything so far. And once we get the thumbs up from them on that, then uh, we're going to take it to the next step and do these last two things. And then it'll be done. With that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this nice little drive in this beautiful 1967 convertible Corvette. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the car so far. And uh, if you have not subscribed to the Brink of Speed community, make sure and hit that red subscribe and bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you out on the road.